Hi, my name's Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mercedes-Benz SLK. Then I'll take you for a little drive in it. But uh, first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.1 SLK 250 CDI Blue Efficiency AMG Sport. It's a 7G Tronic Plus. 2012 on a 62 plate. Has done 58,392 miles. Fuel economy. Urban, 45.6 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 65.7 miles per gallon, and combined is 56.5 miles per gallon. A nought to 60 turn of 6.7 seconds, top speed of 151 miles per hour, out of a 204 brake horsepower, 16 valve, four cylinder engine. Road tax is uh, very cheap too. 12 months is 150 pounds, six months only 82 pound 50. This is my favorite uh, incarnation of the Mercedes-Benz SLK. I, I, to be honest, I like them all, but I prefer the, the front on this with the big Mercedes badge in the, in the center there. Uh, low chin spoiler there. The five spoke Mercedes-Benz AMG alloy wheels. We've got this uh, chrome vent on the side here as well. It's got the plastic sill protector there, the rear wind deflector, and the headrest that uh, double as rollover hoops, but should you be unfortunate enough to, to flip it. Um, electric boot release there. You see there, not a fantastic amount of room when the roof's down, but if you're going anywhere, you're not going to have the roof down. You're going to go there with the roof up, and then you can unload all, all your luggage, and, and you've got the, the full boot space there. This little uh, load cover, the roof won't go down unless you've got the load cover closed so the car knows when it puts the roof down you're not going to crush your luggage or in my case my my cameras two mercedes keys there kind of a, a semi proper ignition lock but it's uh, a transponder in the end instead of a blade the, let me just see, the service history, uh, we've got it written down here in order. So 10th of the 1st, 2014, at 10,417 miles, Mercedes-Benz Liverpool. The 21st of the 1st, 2015, at 15,563 miles, MB Tech Warrington Limited. 18th of the 2nd, 2016, at 26,297 miles, MB Tech Warrington Limited. For some reason I can't say Warrington today. Uh, 15th of the 5th, 2017, at 37,212 miles, MB Tech Warrington Limited. 30th of the 5th, 2018, 44,691 miles, MB Tech Warrington Limited, and that was including the uh, gearbox oil change. And then the 25th of the 7th, 2019 at 52,577 miles MB Tech Warrington Limited and that was a brake fluid change as well um, what's the car done now 58,399 uh, miles so it's a really nice example um, it's uh, I'm trying to remember the name I, it, every one of my demonstrators was this colour and, I, and I, for some reason today I can't remember it Obsidian black metallic with black leather and also uh, the contrast red stitching. My favorite bit, which I always say, is the, the, the flip up uh, roof controls here. I'll, I'll just take you for a ride in it anyway. We'll do a little bit with the top down. It's, a, it's not a very nice day today, but uh, it's, it's quite good, especially with the wind deflector. Um, not it's not too noisy not too windy not too cold good heater and uh, it's great little great little sports car actually I'll just put my shades on nice cars to drive as near to a proper sports car as you can get, really. Oh, 
automatic. You can uh, change down by just knocking the gear lever over to the left or change up by knocking it to the right so you can override the automatic gearbox. We've also here got, uh, that's knocking into sport and also manual. So you can have it as a manual box there and just change up like so. Won't, won't let you change up when you're not going fast enough. Let's get it out of that. Otherwise I'll, I'll end up screaming the engine as we go around the roundabout. Quite comfortable driving position. Uh, I like it with your legs out straight. Quite low down. Just give it some gas. If we can straighten up quick enough and get around this discovery. There we go. Good, then it. I mean, a right old fry up in that engine. Just, just the time when you you don't want a convertible. Shouldn't be on the road. Anyway, I'm going to pull it in here, let him get away, put the roof up, try and breathe some clean air. Oh, that's a stop start, so we'll knock the stop start off as well. So up like so. That Uni United Utilities there. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it out of the window, but he's doing it again. I don't know what he's... He's either drunk or texting. He's, uh, he's nearly gone off, a, off the road a couple of times and I thought he was going to run into me in the back. Unbelievable. So there you go, that's a, that's a hood up. Doesn't take very long at all. I don't know where all this traffic's come from. Right, we're, we're going, we're going. Not 60 in 6.7 seconds, I think it was. That's fast enough for anybody. Lovely, lovely trim, well designed. This kind of aluminium centre or the, the tri spokes here for the steering wheel, the aluminium gear tunnel and radio surround uh, you've got your kind of BMW eye control here but in a Mercedes I've got to say it's not, I don't think it's quite as good as the BMW eye control but um, this this car's got sat nav um, it's got Bluetooth hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming sat nav there you go there's the nav and you can select the map by doing like so Reach adjustable steering wheel. Uh, clear and flick back allows your destination input. Good grief. Ford Focus convertible. There's a rare beast. Lady driving it.
front central armrest in there, there's a uh, auxiliary in. The Bluetooth hands-free on this, or, well the Bluetooth audio streaming can be a little bit confusing. If we go back to radio on there, you see audio at the top. Sometimes if you've been on telephone, say, so if it's been on telephone, you'll see audio, but there's no little triangle there. So if you flick, flick over to audio, flick back up to the menu at the top and over to audio, there don't appear to be any other, uh, any other access other to, than to the audio. But if you click on it again, it goes down to radio, then you have to click back up, click on it, and then you've got disc, radio, USB storage, Bluetooth audio. In order to listen to uh, Bluetooth streaming, it has to be on Bluetooth audio. Great handling, not a whole lot of scuttle shape, which you'd expect with a a bit with a convertible, not so much these days, but they used to be terrible. Remember uh, the old SL, one of, uh, I think I'd only been at Mercedes-Benz about three days and I got an inquiry on a second-hand SL we had in, a chap from, funnily enough, he was from Warrington, and uh, I, I persuaded the sales manager at the time that uh, he couldn't get to Blackpool and I had to take the car to see him. I jumped in it, put the top down. I was driving up the road and I thought, God, this is horrid. It's all shaky and so on. But that's how they were then. Of course, you take the roof off, you cut the roof off and that's half the rigidity of the, the chassis, I suppose. But uh, as I say, a lot better now. always like to go into the, the second lane here. I'm not lane hogging, it's just that people come down there far too fast and then end up overshooting and uh, pulling into your lane. Just drop back in now. Also got paddle shift on the steering wheel. wasn't expecting the van to come in there and take my space. Got uh, cruise control on the left hand side here and speed limiter just underneath the indicator. It's slightly hidden by the quarter to three position of the steering wheel. Got global lock in here and unlock. You've got your electric dormers there. check them yep both working that's the cruise control set at 60 it's working nicely my best mate who always rings me whenever I'm videoing something he has a uncanny knack Brakes all good, no vibrations through the steering wheel. I think it's got Conti Super Contacts on all round. So good tyres too. Can't see any damage anywhere. Everything looks pretty much original. It's all, all the leather's nice. Just, uh, actually I'll, I'll, I'll test the 
paddle shift when we're on the bendy bit of road. Lovely car, ideal to make the most of the the sunshine when we get it. You see the ignition lock there, lights there, and just there the indicator and also the cruise control. Skoda behind me, not for long as he's now going to undertake me. We'll probably just give this Polo some time to go through the bends so we can just test the suspension steering components on this which is uh, what uh, part well partially why we do these these test drives uh, pre-delivery inspections just make sure we, we do a 10 mile road test make sure everything's working on the car before we uh, take it for a pre-delivery inspection by the mechanics so we can point anything out to them that should uh, oh there's another car coming now so we'll go Bentley Bentayga Everything, everything feels fine. I'll show you how to set the sat nav, how to pair a mobile, delete a mobile, and how to stream audio. Try not to pull out, and I still never, never trust them, even though they're indicating. down again on a bit of a straight here so people can see me it's a bad road this halfway along put the make the most of it a bit hazy today but the sun's trying to come out with the roof down. And it, as I say, in the old days, this road in a convertible, you'd have been like jiggling all over the place. <laughs> probably felt seasick but uh, it's a good chassis on this nice nice uh, solid chassis
imagine this on a lovely sunny day. I mean, it's nice, nice enough now. I'm warm enough. It's not too drafty. That wind deflector doing its job there. Lovely car. So I'll, I'll finish the test drive there anyway. Um, just ask you if you watching this video when the car sold in the future perhaps just go to our website ggcars.co.uk and check out uh, any available stock there or fire us an e email off or a live chat and we'll let you know if we've got anything suitable coming and uh, see you in the next video I'm not sure what will be next maybe a mini which I've been trying to get round to uh, videoing but uh, thanks for watching